Welcome to the Redaptive Energy Dashboard Overview. I will walk you through the platform and basic features. We are looking at anonymized data for one of our customers, Information Management. The Redaptive Dashboard was built to provide an overview of Redaptive's billing calculations, which use actual metered data. Therefore, there are two views. First, a billing view to show measurement and verification data used for billing and billing calculations. There is also a meter data view which shows all unfiltered meter data from which you can derive insights about energy use. Right now we are looking at the billing view, which is showing aggregated savings and billing data across all buildings for this customer. This bar chart shows the gross savings by month across all sites. The light blue bar shows the expected costs pre-retrofit and the dark blue bars show the post-retrofit costs. The steps up in the data reflect new sites coming online over the past few months. As an example, in March 2019, the expected costs across all these sites would have been roughly $78,000, but instead the customer's electricity costs were $15,000. You can also toggle to show the underlying kilowatt hour measurements. The Savings Trend tab shows for any given month how the sites are performing against the forecast monthly performance as contracted. So for March 2019, expected savings were roughly $61,500, and actual savings exceeded this at roughly $62,500, so you are ahead of schedule. You can also see specific sites from the list in the performance summary. The percentage represents the gross lighting energy savings and the dollar sign represents the monthly average net savings. As an example, this 140,000 square foot warehouse reduced their lighting energy use by 78% and after the redaptive invoice, they had a net savings of $62 per month, so they are cash flow positive. It's important to note that this monthly savings figure only represents savings during the project term. At the conclusion of the project term, the customer will get 100% of those savings. Now you're looking at billing data for just one site located in Massachusetts. Here are the most recent billing and savings data in detail for this site. Data will match what is on the monthly redaptive invoice, so project performance is outlined very clearly. I will walk you through a few of the columns and calculations. Baseline usage in kilowatt hours is the pre-retrofit expected usage for this month. Actual usage is post-retrofit usage this month. Saved energy is this month's saved or avoided energy due to the retrofit, and we calculate this by taking the baseline minus the actual usage. This is used to determine the utility bill savings using the local utility rate. The redaptive saved energy invoice is calculated by taking the saved energy kilowatt hour times the saved energy kilowatt hour rate, which is always lower than the utility rate, and brings us to the net savings after the reduced utility bill and redaptive invoice has been paid. Now let's switch from the billing to the meter view. This view shows the actual consumption data from meters on site. Let's now take a look at a beverage manufacturing site in City of Industry near Los Angeles. We run the billing algorithms off of the metered circuits at each site and can share data from all metered circuits. Metered circuits are categorized by equipment type so you can view consumption by lighting, HVAC, industrial equipment, etc. This is the daily view for the month of April, but we can also get more granular and change the date range to the last seven days and show hourly. As we can see, lighting appears to be fairly consistent with an expected decrease during weekends. This is where it gets a bit interesting. We can see some spikes in usage here that might be interesting to look into. We can drill into individual pieces of equipment and see what might be contributing to these spikes. Clicking through, we can see that the filter area pump plugs number 5 and number 6 are the main contributors to these usage spikes. This concludes our overview of the Redaptive Energy Dashboard.